Hello and welcome back to Scrolls Guide. Today I'm going to show something that me and Blinky and a few others in an IRC chat have been theorizing over the past couple of days and planning and then K Bastan, the creator of Scrolls Guide, just went nuts for a day and created the entire thing in basically one go because he is a machine. He is an automaton. And what we have is a drafting system. Now, you may have played a MTG draft, or a Yu-Gi-Oh draft, or a Pokemon draft, or a Vanguard draft, or some sort of draft. And now we're getting one for scrolls. It's a fan-made one. Could become official sometime in the future, but I wouldn't expect it immediately. And the way we're going to use it is we're going to probably draft outside of the game, and then build the decks in-game to play against each other with. And we're building up to that quite rapidly, <laughs> considering... And this is K. Baston's creation. And so at the moment we've gone for 10 card packs, and we're going to be using 6 packs, I think he changed it to. It currently says 5. I think, yeah, I think um, man suggested that it should be te uh, 6 packs of 10 instead of 5 packs of 12. I think that just increases the rare count just a little bit. And so, here we are. Uh, this is amazing, because it happened so quickly, and so we're going to take our pick. Now, there's the rare. Uh, I kind of want to take that. It's a hefty punch, and if I don't take it, the person on my left will probably take it. Admittedly, the AI at the moment just takes a random scroll. It doesn't take the best scroll, because there's no ranking system, because you need an algorithm that changes the rank based on what you've already picked, and... I wouldn't expect him to come up with that in a couple of days, so that's not a thing yet. But he's working on multiplayer now, which is pretty exciting. And so I'm going to give this a go. He's great if we're going two color, and two color is pretty likely. They're both great for two color. Neither of the colors that I want, though. <laughs> that gives you order, that gives you energy from order, so I'm not playing order if I want to play him, so I'm not going to look into that. Fury's pretty good because it's just a speed boost, and I guess you don't want that in limited, because if your opponent gets lucky and draws a bunch of walls, you're screwed. Let's go for instant damage and play it safe. As you can see, it comes up with your pick, shows you how many of that pick you have, and that is pretty awesome. So, I guess we're going to start off going into the order route. Now, Horn of Ages stops people from moving. Speed gives you an instant attack. Thought Trap. Hmm, okay. I could also splash for that, or splash for that, or splash for that, or splash for that. I could splash for most of these now. At this point, splashing is definitely an option. I think I'm going to go with speed for now. And so here is pack three. And um, I'm going to explain now what draft, how a draft works. Now that I've shown a bit of how this works, people who know what drafts are are probably excited. So the way a draft, work is, draft works is that you open a booster pack and pick a card. Put that card down and pass the rest of your pack to the person next to you. They take a card, put it down, and so you'll receive a pack from the person on your right. So, basically, packs are slowly being siphoned off like an industrial centrifuge around players sat around a table until we have enough cards to build an actual deck to play with. Now, since I've gone order so far, I'm going to get a order creature so that I can start doing some smacks. That's a four-order creature. Now, really my choice here is do I want to get the draw power or do I want to get the lasting power so that my guys don't instant die? I'm going to go with draw power because I've got, not got any of that yet. That is a good order rare to have in limited. <laughs> Ooh, okay, now I have a choice between another unit for attacking and another damage buff. I think I'll grab another unit for attacking. Now, I'm going to consider splashing for energy, because those are my options. New Orders is... I don't... I haven't got that much use out of it. Could be very good in limited play. Same goes for Resonant Helm. But I think I'm going to grab the Desperation for now. And then I'll probably grab... <laughs> dry, uh, do I want to grab Dryadic Power? It'd mean I have the option of splashing to green if it looks like that's a better option in a future pick. Okay, well, if I have a choice between those two, that's actually really tough. I'm going to go with that one, though. And then him. Now, this, now that those packs have all been passed around and reduced down to nothing, 
Now we draw another pack. So this is pack two of six. So I might start speeding this up a little bit. So probably go for the draw power and movement power given by transposition, since I'm sticking mainly with the order. Sticking with the order. Heritage, yeah. Third one of them, that's a lot of four cast and then five cast. He cast five, yeah, he cast five. Four cost and five cost creatures and very little else. I could, I'm going to grab the lower guy, just so that I have him. Flip is an amazing curve, so I will definitely take that. And I'll grab a crossbow. So I'm all right now for my low cost creatures. I'm going to grab that so that I can splash growth a bit better. Same for that. I'm going to. I think I'm going to go all to growth if I do splash at all. So that's not useful. That's not useful. That's. I'll grab that then. Then grab that. And then grab that. So here's my packs at the moment. I've got a champion ring, crossbowman, desperation, dryadic power, focus, flip, fertile soil, three ducal skirmishes, heritage, him, iron whip, kabonk, speed, sister of the fox, sinmark zealot, knight scholar, and transposition. So with the draw power given by that, the survivability given by that, and the draw power given by that and that, growth order is definitely looking the way for me to go. So, from this pack, I'll grab the spiky dude. And now, there is one order scroll there. So I think instead, Leech and Ring is very good. Oh, wait, aren't they both rares? No, that's an uncommon, that's a rare. I think. Was that an, I'm not sure, actually. But, Ragged Wolf. There's a god hand that's made it all the way to me. That's eight. I want to be going primarily into order. If I were playing a game and this came up, I'd take it so that no one else could have it. <laughs> Hate drafting. Whoa. Okay, I double picked them. Pretty sure. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> I now have a Kimbuk vet. Not too bad. I could have picked a worse card, although I don't know what else was in that set. Callback, maybe. Ah, I'll summon. What structures do I have so far? I have the vitality well. Callback. What callback work well with? Not much, unfortunately. I don't know. Don't know. I'll go with the bear paw for the survivability. Great wolf. Hmm. <laughs> it's going to get very expensive on the growth front. I think that'll probably. I'm interested. I actually kind of want to make this deck now to see how it ends up. Go for the vet. Man, that's going to be a tough deck to make. It, it could go either way at this point, I guess. It could go growth primary or order primary. Not sure. All right, let's just finish this pack off. That is Sand Pack Memorial. Ugh. Grab that because that's actually relevant. Grab it twice. Okay. <laughs> I don't think I'll use that. Gravelock Elder. Ugh. <laughs> See, I would pass on that at this point. Pover, Powerbound, Ilthorn, Sea, Pure, Pover. Essence Feast! <laughs> Blinky's probably going nuts right now because I'm not going to pick it. Get grab the draw power. Decimate. Uh, focus. Shrine. Another Great Wolf. Frost Gale. Purification because enchantments are pretty likely in a draft. Ilthorn Seed. Outcast. So... That's getting pretty big now. Um, which one am I on now? <laughs> I think this is number five or four. I'll grab him because he's low cost awesome. Ooh. Ooh, decimate. Honorable general. That is what I wanted. <laughs> that is what I was hoping to get when I started that deck. How many focus am I on? Uh, him. All that. All that. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'll grab that. I will grab Thought Trap this time, then another Knight Scholar, then a Royal Infantryman. I actually can't make this deck, I don't have any Knight Scholars. Then a Thought Trap, then Unleash Inner Power, and then Rigged. So, this is it now, this is the last round. How many Knight Scholars am I on? Two. Let's make it three, wait. <laughs> I have another focus, I'm already on three. I could go higher. We're not sure, actually, because in MTG drafting, you can have as many copies of a card as you like, but 
Speaking to Mans, he said he wasn't sure if we'd play it like that for scrolls. So I am not sure. So for now, I'll just stick to three and I'll get Dryadic Power. Plate armor, nice. And I'll grab the Woodland Memorial so I have it. Ooh, no, I'll grab that because I'm more likely to be splashing for that. Metamorphosis? But I can't take it, it just. <laughs> I don't have it in me. I'll grab the Illthorn Seed. I will then grab. Ducal Infantryman, because I've not got anything really for turn two. Ranger's Bane. Bear Pow. Powerbound. Powerbound is probably really powerful in Limited, actually. Okay, and this is what I ended up with. Now, yep, yeah, if I remember correctly, Blinky added this, the Send 2 Deck Builder, and now all of those scrolls are here. Now, <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to spend a long time going through making this into a deck, but I'm just going to do this real quick. So I want the Honorable General, I want the Heritage, I want the Double Decimation. I would like the Ducal Skirmishers, because they are powerful, the Focus for the extra damage. Uh, well, let's ditch that, because I'm not going to use it. Not gonna use it. Not gonna use it. Not gonna use it. Not gonna use it. Okay, all the rest are possible. So let's continue with the order scrolls for now. Um, Kabonk, because it's slight draw power. Pother, because it's slight draw power. Power bound, because it's slight buffing. <laughs> it's not correct, it's slight resource gain. Then I'll probably grab both of these memorials. Definitely grab that if I'm playing with the Honorable General. Royal Skirmisher to deal with growth decks. And transposition for the draw power. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So I'm halfway there. So I can get this in even split. So I'm going to get two of them. Nope, meant to get two. And I think I will grab the Dryadic Powers, the Champion Ring, the Bear Paws, and that'll be it for growth. I think. Let's send all these back. I don't think I want to splash that heavily into growth. I want to have it as an option so that I get these extra couple of buffs. Can't replace him though. He is nice. So, currently on here we have 45, so we just need to take out 5, so that's 1, 2, 3, hmm, let me think about that one, nah, 4, no wait, just 1 now, just 1, and I'll ditch the vitality well. So, everything left here would make a 40 scroll deck. That's interesting. I honestly thought I would have more trouble removing scrolls than that. Maybe it was just bad picks, but there we go. 40 scrolls, 11 growth, 29 warder. I don't know if I'm going to keep the kinfolk there. If I were to redo this, I'd probably ditch them, but... Because they're very expensive. <laughs> Considering my highest otherwise is 2 for him and that. And the bear paws. So there we go. There's my very clumsy deck built. Could be good. Could be very, very not good. I think the triple focus, double decimation, honorable general, and triple dual ducal skirmisher definitely help it, but who knows? <laughs> I am really excited to play this. Because once we have everyone like set, uh, first draft. Okay. Once we have everyone set up and in a game, we do the draft and we end up with very varied decks. Because I feel with the human players taking some of the better cards and the AI not just randomly picking one, we'll get a lot more, a lot less of double decimation, honorable general with triple focus and speed type setups. So that is a look at K Baston's draft system. The link will be in the description if you want to give it a go yourself. And I highly recommend you do, because it is a good bit of fun. Um, spoilers. Uh, today, man's revealed that they're going to add better chat in scrolls, where you have, like, coloured fonts and stuff like that, and I think tabs and 
report systems. Let me look at exactly what he said. Yeah, the things he spoiled were more chat options, blinking notifications, and sounds. <laughs> and also, there was an accidental spoiler on the forums where Carnalizer suggested that Blinky... He asked Blinky's opinion on a long-range card. Well, he said long-range scrolls such as Bombard. We have never heard of Bombard. <laughs> so I expect that to be spoiled pretty soon, since it's basically already out there. And I'll probably make a video on that. So see you then. Unless I see you sooner. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.